I've been converted. I've seen the light. You know, President Obama and his staff have been saying that they're going to cut health care costs. At first they thought, how can you do this? You're taking all these new people on the rolls, etc. And then I started reading the fine print. Basically, it goes something like this. About half of all of our medical expenditures are spent in the last six months or year of someone's life. In other words, when you're trying to keep dad or mom alive, grandma or grandpa alive, you're spending a ton of money and they often just end up dead anyway. And so I'm starting to get it. Now, in case you didn't know, if your mom, your dad, your grandma, your grandpa gets sick and they've got a little bit of equity in their home, a little bit of money stashed away, the government is going to come for that money to offset some of the Medicare costs. Mm. So that money, rather than going to you as an inheritance, gets poured down a government rat hole. Now, Talk about Obama health care. Here's how it works. Your mom is 67. Mom, by the way, if you're watching this, I love you and I don't want this to happen to you, but we're just talking about concepts here. Your mom is 67 years old. She gets sick. You've got a little nest egg there that's going to be yours when you inherit it and she's gone. But the doctor comes in and says, boy, oh boy, this could take her life in a year to two years. That's about how long she has to live. But we're gonna start this treatment and that treatment and this treatment and that treatment. And you ask the doctor, what's this gonna cost? He gives you a figure. And you look at the inheritance and you say, well, that's just about what my inheritance is. And then you realize, oh no, all of my inheritance is about to be gobbled up in my mother's sickness. So you say, how about the Obama health care plan? Well, the Obama health care plan would say, She's got to learn to live with certain effects of age. She can't expect treatment right away. Give her a couple of aspirin and tell her to call me in a year. So what happens? Mom, unfortunately, croaks. She dies. She goes the way of all flesh. But guess what? You get the inheritance. And oh, it's better than that. The government didn't spend a ton of money. And it's better than that. The money that you got from your mom, you get to spend in the private sector and it stimulates jobs. And so Obama is right. Let mom die. Keep the money yourself. Stimulate the economy. Lower health care costs. It's a win-win, win-win situation for everyone. Too bad that mom had to say goodbye a little bit early and didn't get to struggle for her life and hold on maybe to see the birth of that next grandchild. After all, she was getting a little senile. She was getting a little agitating. You know what it's like. She wasn't, uh, she wasn't doing the things you wanted her to do. So I've become a convert to Obama Health Care. Let's get rid of the elderly and keep the inheritance.